Welcome to Gin Clear Aviation. My name is Dan. Today I'm going to fly in my Cessna 182 from Popham in the south of the UK to Leicester in the East Midlands. But first of all, let's look at our flight planning options using Sky Demon. Here on Sky Demon is a very wide angle view of our flight today. From Popham in the south of England to Leicester in the East Midlands. A flight of approximately 40 minutes and 85 nautical miles. A closer in view shows the direct route we are going to take. The first airspace we encounter after departing Popham is the Benson Military Air Traffic Zone known as a MATS, M -A -T -Z. Interrogating that zone we find this information. The MATS is from surface to 3,203 feet above sea level, i.e. on the QNH. The airspace is controlled by Benson Zone on 120.900 and it is active every day. As we leave the Benson Zone, we will be in the Oxford Area of Intense Aerial Activity, known as the Oxford AIAA as depicted here with a black and yellow border. We can see that it extends from the surface to 5,000 feet and is active every day. We can also read that this area is controlled by Bry's radar on 124.275. We could either contact them with our details or use their listening squawk facility known as the Frequency Monitoring Channel of 124.275 combined with a squawk of 3727. But as it's a busy Saturday, I will probably elect to actually make direct contact with them. After that, as the flight will progress just to the west of Tur Western, which is very busy at the weekend, I will call them to announce our intentions of flying through their overhead. Then it's a direct run to Leicester keeping a good lookout for other planes and possible gliders at Husbands Bosworth. We can see here on the Poolies plate that Leicester has a radio service on 122.130 plus three hard runways. The airfield also has an elevation of 469 feet above mean sea level. The wind is from the west today so I'll expect the use of runway 28, but I will get the full and current airport information when I radio the tower a few miles out from landing. Popham, good morning, outbound flight Golf Delta Alpha November Oscar. Golf November Oscar, passing message. Golf Delta Alpha November Oscar, Cessna 182 in the November taxiway. Request taxi for power checks before VFR flight to Leicester, Golf November Oscar. Uh, Roger, if you can uh, cross to six, uh, the active runway, give me a call before crossing. The uh, northern taxiway is waterlogged. Hey firm, I'll call before crossing um, on the southerly. Golf November Oscar. Roger. Welcome on board. So now we are going to taxi for runway 26 and we have a, a QH of 1002. Um, the air traffic controller here at Pop has asked us to cross over the active runway 26 to taxi on the southerly taxiway due to waterlogging on the northerly taxiway um, and we need to get permission to do that so we'll taxi get permission to go over off to the Oscar request backtrack down 26 and then go to the southerly we've got the aircraft in the circuit at the moment so if you can cross and there's one on final uh, visual one on final I'll, I'll wait golf let me ask as final touch and go let me ask it. well we're waiting to cross runway 26 to go to the non waterlogged side of the runway to uh, taxi um, to the threshold where we'll do our power checks. Uh, meanwhile, let's put in our next uh, frequency, which is going to be the Benson zone, which is 120900. So we're prepared for that. 120900. And we'll enter that and put it on standby. Um, so that will be an easy transition when we're ready. We've got our transponder set to 7000, which is standard. Um, Sky Demon is running um, and the engine's coming up nicely to temperature um, as before we do our power checks. Right, the plane's just uh, taken off on its circuit, so hopefully. 
Uh, we can cross. Golf to Vemberoska, request uh, cross now 26. November Oscar, Roger, no known traffic. November Oscar crossing 26. Our initial heading is uh, 002 degrees magnetic, so I'm going to um, put that onto the DI. It'll help me line up after we've taken off. Go off November Oscar and the 26 hold, uh, ready for departure. November Oscar, Roger. Golf from Baroska, lining up runway 26. Okay, lined up 26, temperatures and pressures are in the green. Let's go. climbed out of Popham now and we're still climbing through 1,700 feet and we're going to 2,500 um, and I'm on an intercept angle yeah, with our uh, GPS uh, of course which we put into our Sky Demon that's great so we've picked up our uh, GPS track now um, and we have leveled off at 2,500 feet and we'll just sort out our power settings we're at 22 Need to be at 2222 at the moment with 2224 for the climb out. Um, so I bring the prop back. So now we are at an engine setting of uh, 22 inches of manifold pressure and 2200 RPM. Our cow flaps are closed, we're trimmed, uh, we're at 2500 feet um, and we have a true airspeed of 136 knots, which is great. So now we'll release ourselves from pop and radio um, and we'll get ready to start talking to uh, Benson um, which will be our next zone that we need clearance through. Uh, Go, November Oscar, request change now to Benson on uh, 120 decimal 900. November Oscar, good day. Good day, thank you. That's great, so we've now been released from uh, pop and radio. Um, and we'll Roger. speak to them later on on our return. So I'm now going to change the uh, frequency to 120.90. And now we'll just listen out to the Benson zone um, to see if there's any other traffic talking to them um, so we don't step onto their, their radio calls. Um, it's the weekend, so being an army base, um, an RAF base, you never know whether they're going to be there or not. Um, but we'll do at least three radio um, calls to see if they're there. Now we're set up in the cruise, I'm also going to now lean the engine um, so we're not burning tons of fuel. So at the moment with full, uh, with, sorry, with mixture um, fully rich, we're burning 63 litres per hour at our setting of 22.22. .22. Um, so now I'll lean that back um, and it should take us to about 38, 39 litres an hour. So I'll press the lean assist to help us and then now I'm going to um, lean the mixture and we'll use the lean assist function um, on the Garmin and we'll see when that, we get our peak EGT and then we'll see um, how far below peak EGT on the lean side of peak we can go. As we can see, we're now on uh, the lean side of peak on all the cylinders as all the uh, blue numbers are minus and at the moment we're doing 39 litres per hour. Um, or about 38 litres per hour, per hour now, which is obviously a lot less than our 63. And the engine will run smoothly on that all day long. So let's now talk to Benson and see if we can get permission to go through the mats, the military air traffic zone. If there's no reply, we can go through the mats, but obviously we have to stay well clear of their ATC. Benson Zone, good morning. Transit Flight Golf Delta Alpha November Oscar. Benson 
zone, Golf Delta Alpha November Oscar. We'll just check the frequency that we got that incorrect, which we have, 120.900, um, and it is listed as Benson on my uh, Garmin 750, so we do one more call. Golf Delta Alpha November Oscar, Benson zone. So it seems Benson on there today. We've done three radio calls and there's no reply. So we can go through the uh, military air traffic zone, but obviously we'll stay well, well clear of the ATC. So the air traffic control area, we will totally stay away from and to the west of that um, as we pass through the mats. After passing Benson, we are going to go through the um, Oxford area of intense aerial activity as we saw on the map and it says on Sky Demon that the controlling body for that is Bry's radar so I'm going to put in Bry's radar now ready so once we've got through the mats um, of Benson and we'll keep listening out on their frequency we can then talk to uh, Bry's radar as we go through the Oxford area of intense aerial activity so Bry's radar is 124275, we'll put that in on standby. In retrospect, after not receiving a response from Benson, I should have gone straight to Bry's zone without waiting to clear the Benson mats. So what I've also just done is I've put um, the Bry's radar frequency um, on COM2 and I'm listening into COM2. So we're listening to COM1 and COM2 at the minute. Um, so we've got Golf Kilo India, Kilo India, request mass penetration. So we've got Benson on COM1 and we've, we've got a listening um, service on COM2 just to see what's going on. So we can change to that in a minute. And uh, as we can see in the distance there, that's the uh, Benson airfield um, that we've been trying to call. Um, but uh, we are going through their mats as we speak. Okay, so we're just coming out of the Benson mats now, so I'm going to change to Bryce radar and uh, see if we can get a service from them. Bryce radar, good afternoon, transit VFR flight, Golf Delta Alpha November Oscar. Golf Delta Alpha November Oscar, is this the transit through the Bryce zone? Uh, negative, sir, negative, just the um, Oxford AIAA. Uh, Roger, pass your message. Uh, Golf Delta Alpha November Oscar, Cessna 182 out of Popham, destination Leicester, uh, just uh, northwest of Benson. Uh, request a basic service um, flying east of Oxford on our way to Leicester, Golf November Oscar. Golf November Oscar, Roger, basic service, Squawk 3737. Basic service and Squawk 3737, Golf November Oscar. Golf November Oscar, confirm your altitude on the Bryce QH 1003. On the Q&H of 1003, currently 2,500 feet, sir. Golf to Vembroska. Golf to Vembroska. So let's put in 3737 in our squawk. And we've confirmed our altitude. And so he will now follow us through, hopefully. had Oxford approach um, frequency ready um, in case uh, Bryce radar weren't um, giving a service this weekend um, but it seems that we don't need them right now as uh, Bryce radar are following us through. I will now put the next frequency in which is the Tur Western radio uh, because Tur Western is a very busy airfield especially at the weekends so I think it's a good idea to talk to them and tell them that we're in the area um, as we pass overhead. So I'm going to line that up ready. So that's uh, for Tur Western Radio is 122.180. So we'll put that into the standby. Two thousand five hundred feet seems to be um, a good choice of altitude today, as as we can see, we're above the broken cloud and the scattered cloud. Um, 
if we were underneath it might be a little bit tight and there's lots of, of planes flying around today but at least on top here um, with lots and lots of gaps as we can see um, we're clear of, of any other airplanes in the area and also obviously any high masts or obstructions that uh, we have to avoid. Now just left the uh, Oxford area of intense aerial activity, so I'm going to ask to change now to the Tour Western um, radio, so we can prepare and listen out um, and get a radio call in nice and early with them. So I'll ask to be released from uh, Bry's radar, and then we'll change to Tour Western. Golf November Oscar request. Golf November Oscar, go ahead. Golf November Oscar, request now change to Tour Western Radio, please, 122.180. Golf November Oscar, uh, roger. Uh, Hinton in the Hedges is currently active, just for your awareness, squawk conspicuity and free call on route. Uh, Hinton in the Hedges is active and conspicuity call on route, November Oscar, thank you. Okay, so Hinton in the Hedges is a, a glider airfield that's very near here and it's active and I, I just saw a glider over there so we'll keep a really good lookout. Um, we have to squawk 7000 now, back to conspicuity. Um, and we can change now to Tour Western Radio and start listening out um, as we are approaching um, their airfield shortly. Taxi 2 on board, local flight please. So this is now um, Tour Western Radio we're listening to. Golf Lima Sierra, hello, Tour Western Radio, readability 5, runway 27, right hand circuit, QNH 1002. 27 right hand, QNH 1002, Golf Tour Western Radio, Transit Flight Golf, Delta Alpha November Oscar. And station calling to Western Radio, didn't quite catch a call sign, say again and pass your message. Yes sir, Golf, Delta, Alpha, November, Oscar, Cessna 182 out of Popham, destination Leicester. Currently approaching uh, your overhead at 2,500 feet um, and will transit at that altitude, Golf, November, Oscar. November, Oscar, many thanks for your call. Runway 27 in use, QNH here 1002 and no traffic known at that uh, height. 271002 and no traffic at that height. Um, we'll keep a good look out. Thank you sir, November, Oscar. We can see now Tour Western is um, just below us and to the right. We're at 2,500 feet and they do have active traffic but a lot lower. Um, so we'll keep a good look at him and he was very happy um, that we called uh, to inform him that we're in the area. On my pilot aware, as we go over Tour Western, I can see uh, four aircraft in the area. Um, all lower, but literally down I can see one over there. Um, so we do have to keep a good look out. Um, and it's good to see that on um, Pilot Aware, but we you have to keep your eyes out, um, especially around airfields, as they can get very busy. Okay. I can see some cloud ahead, and I really don't want to fly through that cloud. I don't want to go under it at the moment. Um, and there's, the only restriction ahead of us is, um, is Birmingham CTA at 4,500 feet. So I'm now going to climb another 1,000 feet to 3,500 and we'll see if that takes us over this cloud. Golf November Oscar, I'm now uh, clear to the northeast, and I'm now climbing up to 3,500 feet and uh, request now change to Leicester Radio 122.130. Golf November Oscar to Leicester and thanks for your very timely call, much appreciated. Thank you sir, November Oscar. So obviously they do appreciate people um, doing radio calls, especially when you're going through um, over the top of airfields that haven't got a designated air traffic control area, um, because the air traffic controller can then sort of get a mental picture of what's going on of the traffic. So I've now put in the Leicester radio frequency 122.130 um, and we will um, swap to that very shortly. Okay, so I'm now going to change to Leicester Radio. So, so although we've got 15 minutes to run until we get to um, Leicester, and we've got 28 miles, 15 minutes, we can start listening to what's going on in the circuit and we can get a mental picture of what's happening with the traffic there um, and even listening to things like QFE, QNH, 
um, and which runway is in use before we actually uh, talk to them and get some information about landing. Just a stunning day today, and all this broken clouds, just beautiful. I normally print off the uh, Pooley's um, airport diagram and information, um, so I've got a hard copy with me um, in the plane, so I can reference this uh, before landing. Um, the things we've got to look out for um, when we read is there's lots and lots of helicopter movements. Now, the helicopter movement circuit is 700 feet, and the fixed wing circuit height is 1,000 feet above ground level. And in the reading, it says that one must approach on the dead side and join overhead at 1,200 feet, but don't descend on the dead side below 1,200 feet, um, and then join the circuit in the normal overhead manner. Obviously, at the moment, we don't know which runway, um, and as soon as we do, we can then work out our plan of how we're going to join and our height. But basically, we're going to approach at 1,200 feet or above, um, above aerodrome level, um, and then organize ourselves to descend um, and join downwind for whichever runway they give us. Are you readable? It's five. The runway use is 2.8 with the right-hand circuit. The QFE, uh, 984 hectopascals, QNH1001. So we heard from that last radio call that they're using runway 28. So that's straight in that way, and it says here, as we read, that runway uh, 28. Let's have a look. So runway 28 is a right-hand circuit. Fixed wing circuits at 1,000 feet QFE with a right-hand circuit on runway 28. So if we're coming in on 28, it's a right-hand circuit, so we can join overhead, over the zero, sorry, over the one zero numbers, join downwind and come into 28 that way. So it's a good way to get a mental picture of what's going on before we've even got anywhere near the airport. We've still got another 20 miles and 10 minutes to run, um, but now we've got a mental picture that we're approaching from the south, we'll come over the one zero end, join downwind, and then come into 28. We now know that the uh the runway news two eight with the right hand circuit, QFE and nine eight four hectopascals, QNH one zero zero one. But the way I normally do this is to stay on the QNH, which is one zero zero one. Um, we know that we want to be at twelve hundred feet. We know that the airfield elevation is four hundred and seventy feet. So if we add four hundred and seventy onto twelve hundred, um, we get six so 1,670 feet on the QNH uh, will give us the 1,200 feet QFE. So we add on the 470 onto the 1,200, which is 1,670, and then we know that that's a good um, approach altitude as we come near the airfield. We've got a paraglider just over there. Let me see if I can... Uh This is why we have to really keep a, a very good lookout um, as we fly around this area. So I think we'll do an early call into Leicester now, even though we're seven minutes away, 16 miles to run, but that's not bad. And uh, get the airport information and uh, indicate to the air traffic control there that we uh, need an approach um, and we want to land there. Leicester Radio, good afternoon. Inbound flight Golf Delta Alpha November Oscar. Good afternoon. Uh, sorry, say again, call sign, please. Golf Delta Alpha November Oscar. Good afternoon. Are you coming into Leicester, are you? Uh, yes, please, sir. Uh, flight from Popham uh, to Leicester. Seven minutes to run from the south. Uh, request joining and landing, please. I may use that Leicester is 2-8 with the right-hand circuit to QFV and 984 hectopascals. 28 right with a QFE of 984 hectopascals, Golf November Oscar. So now we're approaching, we need to descend now from 3,500 feet to our QNH um, height uh, that we worked out of 1,670. So I'm just going to dial in 1,700. Um, so in a minute, when we just get past this cloud bank, I'll start a descent down uh, to that altitude as we're five minutes away, 12 miles, and we need to start that um, descent going now. Okay, so we're going to um, reduce the power. 
I'm going to just set up our vertical speed to go down, and we'll go down at 600 feet per minute. So we're descending nicely, um, we've got the car heat on, power back. Now we're descending, we can uh, increase the mixture and the prop. So we can start slowing down now and uh, getting prepared for the lower altitude and joining the circuit. I can now see uh, the airfield in the distance. Got uh, just under three minutes to run. And we're descending nicely through uh, 2,300 feet and we're looking for 1,700. Put our landing lights on. We've got our strobes and our beacon on already. Um, RP heat to cold. 1,900 feet now, so I'm looking for 1,700, and then I will add a little bit more power. So now I'm visual with the runway. Um, I can see the sort of triangular runway, and I know that the far one is the uh, runway 28, 10 to the left, and 28 to that. And it's a right-hand circuit, so we need to go over the top. We need to stay at uh, 1,700 feet on the QNH, um, as requested in the poolies. So I can see the 1-0 numbers at the end there, which we need to go over at 1,200 feet above aerodrome level, which is 1,700 feet um, on the QNH. And then obviously we'll descend then to 1,000 feet above ground level, which is actually on the QNH, um, 1,470 feet, if we keep on the QNH and don't change to the QFE. Off November. Oscar is above the 1 0 numbers and descending to join downwind for runway 28. So I can start pulling a little bit of power off and I've got the car heat on. So we can now descend down to 1470 feet and I can see another plane in the circuit there. I'm putting one stage of flaps. This is uh, slow planes in the circuit and I don't want to obviously uh, catch them up. Second stage of flap to slow down a bit more. I've got one plane right ahead of me and one on finals. And now we'll turn right onto our base leg for runway 28. And now we can turn on to final for runway 28. Going to go to full flaps. Golf November Oscar is final, runway 28. Oscar, roger, the surface wind is uh, westerly, light and variable. November Oscar. Right, so we're looking for 60 knots. We've got full flap, 60 knots approach. 500. And trim that. We've got blues, reds and greens. RP to the cold. To Leicester. So we have to go down this uh, small track um, for the aircraft parking and fuel um, if you need it, but uh, we don't need fuel today um, to get back to Popham. Um, but the parking is down here. There's a great cafe, there's a great uh, club room. And in summer, it's lovely to sit outside and, uh, and watch the aeroplanes. Here, 
um, and push her back on to the hard standing because obviously the grass probably very soggy. Okay. So we'll shut down and um, let's go see what the facilities are like here at Leicester. I hope you enjoyed our flight to Leicester today. It would really help to build my channel if you could like and subscribe below. Wishing you clear skies ahead, this is Dan from Gin Clear Aviation.